Well, I certainly have heard of Project Baseline for a few years, and I've read about it and heard about it in the press and the news and things like that. No I think that the lack of investment as a whole in ocean exploration is a disgrace. And platforms like this are absolutely critical. They give me great hope because we have to understand what's happening in the world. The oceans are changing so rapidly. Oftentimes, we, before we even have any concept of, of what, what they were like, uh, what they were supposed to be like, what their baseline was. Uh, without that data, without that information, we are incapable of really making informed decisions about uh, managing these systems and trying to understand how they will change in the future. Uh, I'm very concerned about uh, the, the changing health of our oceans and, and the lack of investment in, in not only conservation, but just pure science and education. NASA's budget for space exploration is $4 billion. NOAA's budget for ocean exploration is $26 million. And, and what I always remind people is, while I'm not against science in space in principle, knowing and understanding this planet is critical to life. Knowing if there was ever water on Mars does not mean one iota to any human being on this planet other than an intellectual and scientific curiosity. Protecting the water on this planet is vital to the survival of every single human being on this planet. Oceans are the life support system of this planet, and we understand more about the surface of moon than we do about the bottom of our own oceans. That is criminal, in my opinion. Um, the disparity between investments in ocean exploration and, and space exploration is, I think, an indictment of, uh, of humanity, no less, because um, you know the oceans are in trouble, uh, our world is changing, we don't even understand how and why in many cases, and, uh, and again, we continue to, to look up when we should be looking down.